going on YouTube United Gamer here and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Sun Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke How are you guys all doing? Hope you're having a great day in the last episode guys We have been dealing with this Aether Foundation and now Team Skull for the last couple of episodes So if you guys are still enjoying the series and ready for this to get done so we can move on to Pony Island and catch some more Pokemon Be sure to show your love by smacking that like button comment question of the day You know enlightenment or you know in the aspect of us taking on Team Skull and um, the Aether Foundation. What is your favorite antagonist of all Pokemon generations? For me, it has to be just Team Rocket, man. Like, that's just so classic. That or Team Aqua and Team Magma. Those are my favorite. Uh, or fourth gens was really good, too. So, uh, answer that to have your chance to be nicknamed a Pokemon on this journey. This might be yet again another episode where we don't catch any Pokemon, but I can't really help that as this is a very long, you know, storyline in the game. You know, 7th Gen in general is a really long game, so I really didn't want to make one hour and a half long video. So we're starting off with an executor. Please be low and let's go. I don't know if it even could be the other one. I, I guess it could in a randomizer, but I, I don't know. I don't know how that would. I love how his head's not even on the screen and it's so awesome. Oh, let's see if we can be super effective or something. We're fully healed, so let's see if an Iron Head can do some damage. All right, did a good bit, did a good bit. A mummy. Okay, we have a death ability. Now we have mummy. <laughs> okay. Drill peg. We are still. Yeah, so it's not gonna do anything. Did a decent amount. It might be flying. I'm guessing it's flying uh, with that kind of damage. So I definitely don't want to use Giga Dream. We'll keep up with the Iron Noble War. Okay. Not gonna do really anything to us. That might be just enough to knock us below, but we'll see. We might still be able to knock it out. Nope, not enough. All right, well, we got a flinch, so let's just hit it with a uh, one more Iron Head, and then we'll be good. Team Skull Grunt number one is gone. We got to catch up with Guzma and Gladion, who are going to battle it out. Um, also, in the last episode, for some reason, Hal came in clutch and had a Tapu Lele, so I am so freaking thankful that the times that we have battled him, he has not had that. So let's hope he doesn't have that later on. I'm really just, I just have a feeling, you know, we haven't ran into, like, Intense battles. We've had a few. You know, Guzma's had some pretty good Pokemon. And then, like, a few totem Pokemon have been kind of troublesome, but that's about it. So, I really feel like the Elite Four and the Champion are just going to be brutal for some reason. Because it's normally been the opposite for me. In my past randomizers, you know, throughout the entire game, it was a breeze. But then, or no, 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 take it back, take it back. Sorry, I said that wrong. Through the entire game, it was like, like insanely hard. Like Arceus, Rayquaza, Groudon, all these insane Pokemon. And then we got to the Elite Four, and it was like Wurmple, Eevee, you know, like Caterpie, Pidgey, stuff like that. So I'm really hoping that this time, this the other way around, that we go out with an epic fight. That's what, that's what I'm really hoping for. But also, you know, it could just be the fact that we just have such a good team. Like, we really do. We have such a good team with great moves, great type combo. Like, yeah, Vaporeon's not the absolute best because it's a special attacker and then those physical attack moves. Uh, does that dude just let me buy? Oh, well, sweet. I appreciate that. You know, but he's still a good Pokemon. Tapu Koko, Ground and Dark, knowing Crunch and High Horsepower and Land's Wrath. Alice, knowing Core Enforcer, Dragon Pulse, Water Gun. Uh, Orthos knowing Dragon Ascent was flying type. There's a lot of good thing. The hated boss who beats up and down and beats you up. Wait, the hated boss who beats you down and beats you down never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzmus here. I didn't spoil a little bride of favor and crushed him. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> that was me. You know, I kind of liked you, kid. Leaving home like that and wanting to get stronger and stronger, you had some real guts. You're only 10 years old, a matter of fact. And rejecting your old mother, it's Mother's Day. It really is. Oh, actually, no, it's not anymore. It's 2 a.m. Mother's Day has passed. And now it's your turn. You little misfits keep crashing over one grill. You let a quite a ton of rush away. It is time I put all your fire, uh, put out your fire at the source. Let's go, Guzma. You have have not let me down this entire series. Let's see what you got, buddy. Throw out something insane, just pure brutality in that inner gut, that wig you wear. Let's see what you got. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. Take it. I don't want to fight Reggie's. I don't want to fight legendaries. Why does Guzma always come in clutch? All right. Reggie Eyes here. Let's hit him with an iron head, see what we can do. I don't know what type it is, you know, we can see. Uh, normal effective, normal effective, good damage. Whew. 
I don't like that. I don't like that. Not knowing what type it is. I don't like that. All right. All right. Well, we're kind of bulky. Let's hit it, let's hit it with a Giga Drain see what it is. We're super effective, and it's going to heal us. Perfect. That might almost, that'll be really close to fully healing us. Oh, no. We can't allow that multiple times. I don't know what, I don't know what moves he knows, though. Like, I don't really know. He might know special attack moves, so it's literally might be useless. And I don't want to waste another Pokemon. We need, like, one more hit, and we'll knock it out. We're fully healed. Razor Shell. No, we're good. That won't do, that won't, that'll do a good bit, but... Those swords dances are insane. So the question is, can we actually knock it out in one hit? I don't know if we can, so I am going to switch out to Alice to play this safe. I, I can't go to Killua because of that water. If it, it, it might be water. It probably is water. So it had stab right there with two sword dances. So that's, that's why that did that much damage. Uh, but it's not going to do anything to Alice, really. With water type and everything. Um, it did lower our defense, which sucks. Um, but honestly, one Dragon Pulse should knock this out. It has to be water since uh, Giga Drain was super effective. But all right, Guzma. <laughs> all right. We did not knock it out. Dang it. Dang, this thing's so bulky. All right, one more hit. It did lower our defense again, though. But we got a Berserk, so as long as he doesn't heal, which he might... Please don't heal. Please don't heal. Please don't heal. Okay. If it held right there, this would be this would be brutal to uh, worry about. This is why I need an electric type. If I had a really good electric type right now, we could take this on so easily. If that Quilava would have just evolved into something really good. I mean, we do have Hugo we could have switched out to. That's once a woman reflect. That could be really good for us. We know such we know really good moves though. I like all the moves we know. So I'm gonna keep what we got actually. If somebody else would have learned that, that'd be good, but I wanna keep him. Kingdra. Alright, Reggie Ice and Kingdra. Okay. Um, I don't remember. We fought against a Seedra before. I don't know if it continues, but I don't even really remember what type that was. We're going to have Tapu Coco. <sighs> Let's see. Let's start with a high horsepower and see what we can do. Okay. Normal effective. Did a good bit. Bug Buzz. Mm. Mm, okay. I knew you could live it. All right, buddy. I don't know what type you are. Whew. Let's go to Hugo. Bulky. Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> I always look out for Pursuit. I always look out when I switch out. All right. This is an intense battle. What was I talking about? Bug Bush didn't do that much. We're fine. Okay. Let's hit it with a Sludge Bomb. Knock this Kingdra out. Maybe it actually is Bug type. It might be. Air Slash shouldn't do anything. Okay. I love having Hugo. I love having bulky Pokemon. Okay, one more hit. We got the poison off. Let's go, Hugo. She's such a clutch member of our team. All right, I'm going to take this time to heal up uh, Tapu Koko because we might need him later on since the poison's going to kill it off anyway. Uh, Hugo can take another hit. That's fine. And it'll die to poison. That's two down, one more to go. All right, whew. This one big crit hit on Killua is going to be the end of him. That's what I don't need. He's level 25. Darkest Laria. That's more than Crunch, if I'm not mistaken. Crunch is 80. That's 85. That's right. So let's go ahead and get rid of Crunch. Okay. I like it. I guess that's something you could have learned. I said you didn't need to learn anything, but I was wrong. I tried Echo. Okay, that's not going to... I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let's go to Killua. No, actually, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to Orthos. I have a feeling. I just have a quick little feeling that it's going to be weak to flying. I don't know. I don't know. It might not be. But I'm feeling a drill peg's going to do some damage. We got to be careful, though. You know, Orthos is pretty weak Pokemon. Pretty squishy. All right, let's see. Let's see if my gut is right. All right, shouldn't do anything. We're good. Nope. <laughs> it's literally the opposite. It's not very effective. Um, we can go... Oh, why did I need to use Dark Slariot? All right, well, we can go ahead and finish it off, though. It's not, it doesn't look like it has anything to knock out us, um, which I could be wrong. It's faster than us. Let's go ahead and heal really quick, just in case it does know something. Let's see, 60. Yeah, that'll be fine. Just in case it does know something else. Um, and then we'll use Darkest uh, Laria just to see if we can get a good hit with that. I don't know what type it is. We're not very effective, though. Uh, as long as it's normal effective, though, it will knock it out. <clears throat> All right, that'll be three Pokemon down, one more to go. You know, I had some pretty good Pokemon so far. That Reggie Ice is what really threw me off in the beginning. Not very effective yet again. Dang it. 
All right, well, it won't knock us out, so we're slower. Let's go ahead and use this. Even a crit won't knock us out, so. All right, It'll, it's gone. We will have to switch out. Wow, this, this has been the most, like, difficult battle that we've had the entire game, easily. Like, all my Pokemon are really weak right now, besides Kilo that I just healed. What is your last Pokemon? Guzma. Don't let me down. Why are you learning these moves? Jill! I need you to learn better moves. Stop it! Learn a fairy type move. Give up on this move. Learn a water type move, Alice. Come on, girl. Want to learn Soul Rock? Okay, well, that's not really anything. Honestly, Killua probably could knock this thing out. I've It probably ground super effective on it. Even if it's normal effective, Soul Rock's not going to be anything. It's kind of like, I don't know, it, it's good. You know, we have the Sun Pokemon out here in the Pokemon Sun, the hardest battle that we've had the entire game, so... Eh, it, it, it's fitting. It's very fitting. It avoided the attack word dark. Ooh. <gasps> ah! What is Kill Wolf? Mm. <laughs> I don't like this at all! Oh my god, my whole team's weak. I'm sorry that I, I probably just busted your eardrums. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. See, if that was a crit, right? well, that wasn't a crit, was it? If that was a crit right there, Killua would have been gone. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> Vikavolt's gonna die. This Soul Rock is beastly. Oh my god. Okay, let's. Um, if it is, we can't. So we can't send out Orthos, really. <sighs> I have a feeling it is Fighting type. But Orthos, if it doesn't kill in one hit, Orthos is flying in dark, so it cancels out that, and his defense is so bad, he's probably gonna die. But I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Cause we should be faster. Alright, Pierce, buddy. You did as well. We're having another death. I can't switch out to somebody, no one, no one will take that. Like, I guess Alice could, but... All right, Orthos, I need you. I need you to come and clutch right here. Come on, buddy. Come on, super effective. Yes, it is. I didn't kill it. Though. Oh, no. He's gone. He's gone. Orthos is going to die. Nope, he lived. Let's go. As long as you don't miss this drill pick, we get it. We did it. We did it. Let's go, Orthos. Oh, even with your crappy defense, you lived. I'm so proud of you. Gizma. I don't have, I was gonna say hats off, I don't have a hat, but, uh, man, what a fight. Oh my god, that is what you live for in Pokemon. I love the adrenaline rush. That's why I want to get back into Wi-Fi battling. It's so much fun. And, well, I mean, it's a little bit easier to predict and stuff, because you know what the Pokemon types are and whatnot. Um, but this psycho gangster is gone. Let me go find my girl, Lily. I have went through hell for her. I better be getting lucky tonight. I'm just kidding, we're 10 years old. Totally kidding. There's like a yeah, it's Zygarde cell right there. All right, all this way. This better have been worth it, girl. Listen to me. Get out of here. Let me talk to my girl. I don't even need your permission. You're evil. <laughs> we don't need your permission. Ah, oh, Dylan, it's been a while since I last saw you. What, Dylan? You came to rescue me. Thank you, thank you. I wish I could spontaneously cry so bad. Just for her character, the overdramatic Lily. I don't need your approval, mother, your permission. I will save Cosmog. My, you didn't say so much incomprehensible things. Calling me mother? I don't have any children. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love. Tell me. She's hitting a little dab right there. <laughs> Listen, man. Don't talk to my girl like that. I'm gonna have to put you in your place. You're not beautiful enough for my- Oh, hell no! Alright, Lucimine. Lily, get out of my way. I don't even have time for dialogue right now. I don't care if she opens up some wormholes. She's gonna die. I'm ready. I ain't even worried. Lucimine- Lily, you just stay out of this, girl. I got you. I came for you. <laughs> you just stay here and make- make it- make me feel loved. That's all I need. I need your love and support. All right, what is my team looking like? You know what you really could do, Lily, is fill up my Pokemon because I am running really low on some potions. 
Like, this is- this is scary, guys. Like, I'm nervous right now going into this fight. We are insanely weak on- or low on potions. Okay. 60. 60. Anything with 60. We can pretty much heal Hugo. Pretty much heal Alice. And then the rest, we can use a Hyper Potion on Killua. Orthos. And I don't think we're really going to use um, our Vaporeon right now. I, I, I have to take this seriously. This could be insane. I'm not going to risk anything. <laughs> we're so low on potions and stuff. All right, let's start off with Killua, even though everything seems to either be water or fighting or bug or something. Like, we can't catch a break. <sighs> That's where it's going down. You don't talk to my girl like that. I won't allow it. Give me Nebby back. Lily, I said not to come! God, girls never listen. This is pretty, like, intense for a kid's game. Not even gonna lie. She's a very evil character. Guzma's just... He's just a stupid gangster. But she's, like, evil. <laughs> and very creepy. Look at this! We're just... Like, this is jacked up! It's Pikachu! Where's Ash? My poor beast. What confusion, what rage must it feel arriving in the strange world? It would not be right to confine its feelings in such a small case as these ones. It will need to express itself. I think I will let it express all its fury upon the lower region as it will. How? I'm gonna need you, buddy. Let's take her down together. Bring that type of Lele to battle. Gladion, you're literally useless. Get out of here. Oh, I forgot. I got set off all my videos. Oh, I'm United Gamer. That's <laughs> in the last episode. That's how he always does. He always covers that eye. I really don't know why. Um, maybe, I don't know, lore or something. Just, he feels like doing it. I don't know. Mother. Oh, we're having some pretty big mother issues right now for Mother's Day. This is so freaking fitting. The daughter who stole Cosmog from me and the son who took my type. No, all I ever did was give you two all the love I had. And all you did was betray me. You have no right to ask for my attention now. <laughs> Your love, that's what you call it. How you are so freaking slow, buddy. See, he's always so dramatic. <laughs> what? Perhaps once more, sweet child. But those wretches uh, b uh, beside you left me. But it does not matter now. None of it matters now. I have my Ultra Beast and my frozen Pokemon to be my friends. Oh, God. This is intense. But now I have Cosmog itself inside this crate here. If I use its entire body, how many Ultra Wormholes will it be able to open? How many sweet beasts will come to me then? All my children will be... Please, stop if Nevi isn't. If you make it use too much of this power, you won't understand what will happen. It'll die. I'm sorry. I'm probably getting on somebody's nerves with my my voice for Lily. <laughs> but I think it's comical. What? I'll open the ultra wormhole for you. Come to me, my sweet beast. Let's watch. This is intense. I was so bad, like, all of this was randomized. Ain't no way she's 40. I need, like, some popcorn. Just sit back. I have a bag of M&M's. I should have brought them over here. <laughs> it's Swole Patrol. Buzzwall. Oh, I can't wait to try to go catch these. At least I think I'm going to do it. And see what all they're randomized into. I might do it. I don't know. It'll be hard to even tell, like, if it is an Ultra Beast battle. I have to, I'll have to tell, like, by the music of the encounter. Otherwise, you won't really know because it's not an Ultra Beast. It'll be random, I think. You see, all over Alola. Pew. No, Nebby's still making his noises. 
Ugh. Must be so. Uh, must you be so noisy even inside there? What an annoying Pokemon. The only thing I need for you is your power. But I will admit, it looks like this power has served me well. There should be plenty of these beautiful beasts appearing all over Lola as we speak. Look, Unakala, Unpony. Well, we haven't been to Pony, so we could hurry this up. I'd like to go there and catch him myself. See, every everywhere, just I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start doing that in public, like whenever I get like college speeches. Just hey guys, uh, this is my speech. Wait, this disturbance I feel. I feel it's strong in the force. I told you, I've been binge-watching too much uh, Star Wars lately. Hala is freaking Obi-Wan Kenobi over here. We just watched New Hope tonight, so... No! Killua! I need you to come back! I need you for this fight! Forgot how freaking epic these scenes are. Where's the other Ultra Beast and the other Guardians? Ask Kahuna this island. I, Hala, will support you. Heh. <laughs> Buzzwa ain't gonna take on no freaking Killua. Killua's my boy. He's gonna survive anything. He survived Brick Breaks, Razor Shell. Like, he's surviving everything. Bug Buzz, it doesn't matter. This Jar Jar Binks up there. I gotta stop watching Star Wars. Madam Prez, the experiment was a success, huh? Man, get out of here! You were, your goal was to stop me, and you failed, so you're literally useless. He can't! He already tried to silence us, and it didn't work! I'll stop the beast! Guardian, just sit down and let real men handle this. How, who do I take? Oh, I take, I take your lady. Doing stuff. I got it. Oh, this is for all that you've said about my lady. You're gonna start the sweet beast, Dylan. It looks like I'll have to silence you first. Come get some. Let's see what you got. I don't have many healing items, so I'm gonna need you to go easy on me. Listen to me. Let's see. It is time for the Aether President. Let's see what you got. A Drapion! Alright! Alright, we starting off strong, but I ain't worried. Alright, Killua, let's see what we got here. Normally, we could knock this thing out, like, easily. Alright, level 41 Drapion. Let's hit it with a high horsepower and see what we can do. Normal effective is not enough. Oh my god. No! Oh, oh, oh. Thank god. Okay, okay. I don't think he has stab at all, or that would have killed me for sure. Um, and it lowered my special attack, so we can definitely take another Moon Blast. We might be able to knock it out. Come on. Let's go, Killua. One down, four more to go. I got super nervous with that Moon Blast. It probably was not Fairy-type. There's no way it didn't have Stab. Submission. Well, you're dead, so I can't even use you, so... <laughs> Azor. <laughs> Why do you have good Pokemon? All right. All right, Alice. Oh my god, this would be so useful if I just knew what type it was. I actually think I should have kept Killua out there. I think I'm almost positive we were super effective with ground on Zorark. All right. Slow start. Why do you yes, it has slow start. Let's go. Oh, that is so perfect for us. I don't care that the animation is long. We need as much power as we can get. Oh, this is the episode of Intense Battles. It's gonna be harder than the freaking Elite Four. Alright, all we- yeah, it's gone. It ain't gonna do anything to us. Alright, two down. Three more to go. Alright, that Moon Blast really did scare me, though. Zorak is gone. Right, let's see what else you got. I, I kinda wanna keep Alice out here, because even if she gets lower to health, she has Berserk. Bravery, all right, that's not gonna really, I'm not too worried about that. As long as you know, like, you throw out any kind of like giant legendaries, I'm okay. It really did randomize the game for like these major boss battles to have much better Pokemon. Like, that, it did that on purpose. It matched like the difficulty setting, I'm guessing. Mm, that's not as much as I wanted it. Takedown, that, that's gonna hurt yourself. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, we can live that. It didn't do as much as I wanted it to do. I'm hoping it's going to use takedown again, so what I'm going to do is use a super potion, because that's about how much damage it did. Um, 
and I'm hoping to use it again to do enough for recoil, and then we can finish it off with a core enforcer. Hammer on, but we avoided the attack. Let's go. Okay, let's start. Let's do a core enforcer again. We have powder snow just in case um, we need to use that. We don't have stab with it though. I think a core enforcer is a much higher bet, or a you know a better bet for us. Not enough damage, but it's okay. She might heal her Pokemon. Oh, I wish this would just kill it right here, but it's not going to. Um, just in case she doesn't heal it, I'm going to use a Dragon Pulse and see. Actually, yeah, let's use a Dragon Pulse. It didn't heal. Okay, that's awesome. That's what, three down, two more to go? All right, we're doing nice. We're doing really nice. We don't have a lot of potions, though, and I want to save as many as I can uh, and not waste them. We haven't used anything but a Super Potion so far, so this is really good. Heat more. Mm. Mm 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 mm. Kayla was pretty weak. Let's go with uh, Hugo and see if we can get lucky and somehow be super effective with one of these. At first, I read Heat Tron, which really would have been terrifying. All right. There's nothing that we can't take. I wish we could just know what type it was. Like, I wish so bad that everyone talked about this icon where you click on them and know the type they are would work. Let's go with the Sludge Bomb and see what we can do. Power Gem. That should be all right. Okay, does some good bit of damage. Probably has stabbed. Um, get a poison, get a poison, get a poison. Dang it. Um, let's go for a gunk shot. Let's see if we can land one. Shadow ball. All right, we should still be able to survive that. That's fine. Go, oh, come on. Let's hit it. Yes, let's go. Okay. Come on, finish it off. Let's go, baby. Four Pokemon down. One more to go. Let's go, Hugo. We're playing so good. Okay, last Pokemon is... Okay, that's fine. Like, I think we got it. Um, I'll go with Alice. Um, just because if she does get hit to go down below yellow, she'll get that Berserk, and that'll be clutch for us. It's our last Pokemon, so we're fine. Unless it just somehow is, like, Fairy-type. If it's Fairy-type, then I'm scared. Let's do a Dragon Ball, see how much damage we can do. Safeguard, that's fine. Go ahead and waste your turn. It's faster than us, as expected. There we go. Beautiful enough damage. Critical hit. One more Dragon Pulse and it's gone as long as it doesn't knock us out. Hydro Pump. We're water type. That's it. Let's go. Thank God I did not send out Killable though. That Hydro Pump, he would have been gone. He would have been gone. We got Berserk too. KO. Let's go. We didn't even have a death. I'm so proud of our team. Oh man, we've had some intense battles in today's episode. This is such a great episode. Whew. I have room to breathe now. Yes! It's learning a better move! It's still not the best in the world, but at least she's learning something! Oh my girl, Alice. Yes, let's get rid of Water Gun. <laughs> Alright. I'd still rather like Hydro Pump or something, but I'll take it. <sighs> we did it. We did it, guys. I'm so proud. I'm, I'm so proud. But it's not over yet. <laughs> I want to lose my precious beast! Go back up in your hole, buddy. Wow, this might be like a four-part like part episode of the Aether Foundation. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we still have a good bit left, I think, because we have to actually go in the dimension. Like, this is such- it's like- I feel like I'm playing, like, not Pokemon right here. I feel like I'm playing, like, Final Fantasy or something. But that's what it reminds me of, like, Final Fantasy 3 on the DS is what it really reminds me of. It's a great, great game. Goodbye, my children. Guzman's like, uh, I don't know about this, but I guess I'll go ahead and dive in. <laughs> well, what do we do now? Just let them live over there. We don't need them in this world. Oh, wait, she has ne does she have Nebby? Oh, no, we have Nebby. Oh, maybe we don't have Nebby. Oh, it's all forgot. It's a little Cosmoom. We can actually get this Pokemon too. I don't want to lose Nebby though. Nebby's my little. I'm gonna miss him. I mean, I guess we could get out of here. Whew, man. You know, I've recorded three videos tonight, and that's enough. That went and got my heart rate up. That was in some intense battles, I'm not gonna lie, like, the Guzma and then the Lusamine, like, 
that was insane. That was a lot of fun, though. That is what you live for in a randomizer nuzlocke. Those intense battles where you don't know what to expect. And this is the first one I've ever done where it was like a full-on random, like types and everything. So I had no idea what to expect. So that was awesome. Yeah, you can thank us both. That's, yeah. Wow, we have a lot more left in this game. We really do. We still haven't even had our legendary encounters with Solgaleo. Like, that's really cool. We have a lot left in this game. This is part 23, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all get out. Lily, spoken. Leave us, leave us alone. And it's done. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say what I'm- I'm just gonna stop being inappropriate. I'm sorry. Too many young- <laughs> too many young children on the channel. Now that we killed our Pokemon up, I wish you'd have done that before so I didn't have to waste all my potions. Well guys, that is gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Pokemon Side Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. What an intense episode, man. Like This was a great episode. I had a ton of fun. If you are new to the channel and you did enjoy, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the United family today. You guys can find me on all kinds of social medias like Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. All that can be found in the description below. They're all at United Gamer 101. As always, everybody, this is not just a channel. It is a family, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. I'm out. Oh,